Howdy folks, today I will review Beyond Hope. Beyond Hope is a survival game set in space. We are trying to survive by collecting resources in the game where we find ourselves in floating in the space as a result of an accident of our spaceship. Our main goal in the game is to build a shelter. We must gather resources by mining asteroids or by searching the debris. Beyond Hope reminded me of popular space team games like British and No Man's Sky. The game is in early access and still in development. We start the game in the asteroid belt after the accident. We have four different indicators in the game that are vital for survival. Health, oxygen, food and water. At the beginning of the game you can collect these resources from the debris. Make them a part of your inventory and assign keys from the bar at the bottom. There is also energy rifle and laser counter. You can shoot at your alien enemies with the energy rifle and you can mine by covering rocks with laser cutter. Since some of the asteroids have atmosphere and flora, I did not suffer from oxygen shortage when building my base. You only need oxygen when space walking. In addition to having an atmosphere on asteroids, there are alien life forms and artifacts you will encounter there. There is a craft menu for building bases with collected resources. Here you can craft walls, floors, gates and fences for exterior construction. In addition, you can craft machines, generators for energy, refineries for crafting new materials, containers to store your items, a food processor to cook food, tourists to defend your base, gardens to grow plants, an ice melter to produce water, and resource table. You can also produce chairs tables and beds for your living space. Generator is probably most important of them all. You need energy to run machines you have to look for biomass element, which is the fuel for generators. Since the items in the wrecks will not be enough forever, you should find solutions with item crafting. There are not enough resources where you will build your base. You need to collect resources from asteroids and debris by making 10 spacewalks. There is an experience system in the game, you gain skill points as you mine and craft items. By spending experience points on indicators, you can increase your total health or the total amount of oxygen you can store. I run into some bugs as it is an early access game still in development. It was not unusual. The graphics looks nice and sharp, floating asteroids looks really nice. User interface looks clean and simple, nothing complicated. The game needs a little more improvement in terms of sound design. All in all, I like the game and I think it has high potential. It's showing good signs for an indie game in early access.